I'm back, and this is, I like the towers, they're vertical levels, and I think some of them are most challenging, they get tougher and tougher, like through worlds 1 through 9, it gets a little challenging, and here's a dry bones, there's a few of them actually, I think you can like damage them like this, so you get points for it, but I'm pretty sure they just revive, like, oh yep, there it goes again, he's reviving, yeah, that's the most annoying character. He came back like the zombie he was. Also, I like this game that it has multiplayer in it. I don't think it's really meant for multiplayer, and the characters and, and the people who play this game aren't very well synchronized. I just don't think multiplayer will ever be synchronized for people. It won't be that well playing with multiplayer. It's a good, it's a good feature to the game. I think it's good. Well... And then after you beat the second castle, you move on to a whole new world. Some of them are vertical, some of them are horizontal. It changes. Some of them have airships. So basically what you do is that there's a few... There's like three levels. Then, uh, then there's like three levels you have to play out. A tower, then a couple of more levels, and then a boss battle. The bosses were fun. And they were just usually just figure out how to beat them like a normal game. I just think the most annoying part is the map enemies. <coughs> because you have to deal with them every once in a while. It's so annoying. Oh yeah, and I hate the ghost houses. They're really annoying. There's lots of stuff to dodge. There's some vases that keep popping up every once in a while. It's so annoying. There's just mice everywhere. It's so annoying. And you can't even kill the ghosts. It's so annoying. It's annoying since Mario World. And then the water worlds. The water worlds were so annoying. I just think they're so annoying. Because there's a bunch of bloopers and fishes all over the place that you can't even avoid. So annoying. <coughs> Anyways... I just think, I think it's just most annoying they have to do with underwater stages. Like this one, for example. There's a bunch of, look down here. There's a bunch of stinking fish to dodge, and they run at you if you go near them. It's so annoying. But luckily they die when they hit the ceiling and don't come back to life. I'm glad they added dried ones to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I wish you could unlock them. I wonder if there's a way to actually unlock them. That'd be nice. <coughs> and then this part where in the castle world five is so annoying because there's a there's a green laser after you and you have to climb on the monkey bars every once in a while. It's so annoying. I just think it's the most annoying thing ever. And it doesn't need to tell us to push up to press or open the doors because it's so annoying. Then there's this boss battle. Where it makes you bounce all over the place on these blocks. And then there's this annoying chain shop that always chases you. It's so annoying. And there's coin battle too. I think it's cool. But then I think the most annoying one is world six. Because you have to. Because what you have to do is avoid all these fishy boopkins from SMG4. I'm sorry about the joke. I meant to say spike. And then there's these like stinking bullet bills that you have to dodge every every once in a while too and you have to climb on the bars it's so annoying anyways that's my thoughts for now have a good day